Hi, my name is John. I'm a business major and I'm an online student. Hi, I'm Lana. I'm a web design and development major. Marriage and family studies. Business management. Uh, business management. Hi, I'm Brittany and I'm a marriage and family studies major and I'm an online student. Question number one, what do you appreciate about your online instructor? I like that she's available and she comments on our discussion board and gives us feedback on assignments that's very helpful and positive and every week she sends out an email to the class and shares her testimony. They're easy to work with. They are. They're really easy to work with and if you have questions, they're pretty good at responding back. She's been really easy to work with communication-wise, um, the email correspondence between her and I. Mm -hmm. She's always quick to respond and is always willing to help out or give further instruction or advice on how to work out a problem. Uh, well, I appreciate that she's available when I need her and that she offers me um, good feedback on my assignment. I guess just generally speaking, like, there's some that are pretty great about helping when we're stuck on a problem and being able to do some online Google Hangouts or whatever with several of the students to help get through the problems. And, and some of them have some pre pretty great feedback on the discussion board. You know, what, what I think my favorite thing about them is the fact that they, a lot of them work in the field. And so if I'm doing a marriage and family studies um, you know, parenting or something like that, they work in the field. And so I feel like they really know what they're talking about with real issues along with their knowledgeable in the classes. How frequently does your professor contact you personally? Probably once within the unit, just, you know, commenting on a post or an assignment. One of them contacts me every week, just kind of giving me an update of what's going on this week, whether assignments, um, and stuff like that. Uh, she does only when, when I ask her a question, she does. Uh, not at all. Not at all? Unless I request it. Probably just as an as needed basis. If I uh, send an email to the teacher or something, they'll send a personal message. And um, occasionally I've had them just contact me if, if there was something that they needed. But most of the time it's just as requested by me. Depends on the course. I've had... Um, I've had them do it quite a bit. I've had some where they'll check in and just say, hey, I'm checking in with you, see how the semester's going. But I would say overall, if I don't have a question, I'm not hearing specifically from them. What kind of feedback does your instructor give you? Usually positive feedback about, well, I like this idea that you explained here, um, and she points out the things she likes about it. Uh, we get an email once a week with... Um, that and a link to the notes from the instructor that has all of the video links and tutorials and stuff like that on it. Um, she gives, like, encouraging feedback. I'm in a math class, so it's been a little bit challenging cause, just because I haven't taken a math class for a while. She's always encouraging me to keep trying and to, you know, utilize the different tutorials that we have. And we have a group um, that meets each week also that she instructs and leads. So she, you know, encourages us, encourages me to do that each week because then we can have help from our fellow students. Um, both positive and, I, I don't want to use the word negative, but both positive and negative feedback, meaning like ways that I can improve um, and giving me resources of which, like if I struggle with something, she gives me resources uh, where, I can, where I can find additional help um, if what she's provided with me does not, does not work. And is this feedback helpful for, helpful for you? It is. Um, one of the most helpful ways, I think, is on the discussion board. If we get a little off track to the subject, she reminds us that, you know, this is the subject of the unit and how to, and she usually asks questions that will kind of redirect our discussion. Um, he gives me good feedback, um, and he's, he's really helpful when I'm having a hard time with an assignment or I'm having a hard time with something. He does, he does pretty good about helping me and then giving me some good feedback on stuff that I'm doing right. Uh, it's really helpful because it just puts everything in one spot um, so it's all together rather than going into different areas, you know, on, through the portal. Yeah, it's really helpful. Um, I, I find it helpful when I need it, um, but I think it's very informative. I look onto there 
because it allows um, – she also has a discussion board that we can get on and ask questions, which is kind of in conjunction with that, which allows us to have, allows me to kind of give the information I need when I need it. Oh, it's perfect. And they do it seem to do it in, like, great timing, too. I think they're pretty helpful. I mean, we get them every week so that we know what that te particular teacher wants because I know that the courses – are not necessarily designed by the instructor, so it's helpful to know what the, the individual teacher wants. Uh, you know, it's nice. I, To be honest, I probably don't look at it in depth all the time, but if I have questions or I need to reference it, mm -hmm. then it's nice to go, okay, I know that they're going to have specific extra directions if I don't read the direct, understand the directions from the actual course. So I think it's important. Um, so there are certain course features your online instructor doesn't have control over, like how many assignments or quiz questions, etc. But they do have control over grading, feedback, weekly updates, and ongoing communication with you to help support you in your efforts to complete the course. Is there anything that you wish your instructor would do more of or do differently as you work through an online course? No, I think she does a great job. But, no, I think that so far the classes that I'm in are doing great. The only thing I could think of that would be beneficial would maybe just to be able to have, like, a one-on-one -on -one once in a while, like a video that we could go into that I don't know if they have that capability to do, like, a live thing where we got to see, like, the teacher explain something. No. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it is. No, it's just a good experience. I, I'm, I'm glad that it's available, and I'm glad I have the opportunity to do it. And, I, and, the, and the instructors seem to be well-educated and, and uh, compassionate, so I appreciate that. You know, I no, I've been really impressed. I've taken online courses through other schools and felt like there was no teacher connection and there was nothing like that. But I feel like the teachers do know the material. They're really willing to help and really care about you as a student. So I've been really happy. Um, is there anything else that you would like to say about your online instruction experience? No, I, I think it's great. No, it's been really good, and it's a lot easier to do with a family than having to go to a campus and do it that way. So um, so far, it's been pretty good. I'm grateful that I can have the classes living so far away and, and finish my degree. Um, I think I just am really grateful for the opportunity to be able to take classes online because I have three little ones at home. And I'm able to to manage, you know, my schedule with them. And so it's been a blessing in my life for sure. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We hope that these comments will help you in your future planning and preparation and interactions with your students. You can tell from, from many of the things that they said that they are very appreciative of the opportunity that they are afforded to attend these classes online. And they appreciate your work in helping them succeed. I also want to remind you that next week we will not be publishing a new podcast episode because of Thanksgiving. We hope you enjoy that time with your families, but we'll have a new episode ready for you the following week. Enjoy your holiday. Keep learning. Keep uplifting.